Ballpark Nation presents Welcome to Go Go Astros, your look at the two-time World Series champions from three guys who have been here since Art Howe had hair. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Go Go Astros Short Hops. It's been a while, but we've been on the road. We've been having a good time touring all over the place. Only two more road trips left for Ballpark Nation. We're going to be in Colorado, and then we're going to be in Miami. Speaking of Florida, we hope everybody's doing okay after the hurricane, and hope everybody hangs tight. We in Houston obviously know what that's like. Also, please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a shirt that's from Minnesota because it represents both the St. Paul Saints and the Minnesota Twins, the minor league history of that city. I'm not, you know, giving up my allegiance. I just, frankly, I like the shirt. It's, last night was rough. Last night was one of the... um, Maybe one of the, in recent memory, I'm not going to say one of all time, but in recent memory, one of the worst baseball watching experiences of my life. And it isn't even just the walk off to end the game, which was as predictable as anything. And, you know, there's lots of moments when you lose by one run, you can find a million different reasons why you lost. And it's easy to go to Joe Espada and and, and say, why Ferguson in the 10th? When you had, I think, maybe not great options. You clearly couldn't have gone to Hader another inning because of how many pitches he threw in the ninth. But I feel like a um, Seth Martinez is a better choice in that point, in that in that moment. Or there are other options that seemed better than Ferguson. Is all I'll say. All of that is is Matt, is wonderful to discuss, and we can get angry at Joe Espada. But what has actually cost the Astros these the last three games, actually? Because the pitching has been quite good. You know, we're upset at a pitching staff that gave up four runs over ten innings. That's not terrible in today's baseball. Um, they, won- they lost one to nothing the day before that. And what it is is they keep coming to moments in the game where the bottom of the lineup has an opportunity to drive in a run with no outs, or so, excuse me, not with no outs. They don't have to get a hit to drive in a run. They've got a runner on third with less than two outs. And I think one of the what feels like a zillion times they've had this opportunity, they've actually come through. It's a lack of baseball fundamentals, which is something a lot of people have been talking about has been missing from the game for a while, of the idea that everything is so focused on Launch angle and exit velocity and hit blah, 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 easy for me to say velocity and hitting home runs that sometimes they forget the art of hitting a sacrifice fly or it just doesn't work out and it seems like if you're a team struggling offensively like the Astros you cannot let those opportunities pass you by. I think a couple of things is going on. I think one, the Astros expended a lot of energy and pushed the guys really really hard to make up that ten game deficit against. Uh, the Mariners, and they've done that, and maybe the gas tank is a little empty. I think clearly missing Kyle Tucker is now finally, I think, affecting the team. For so long, we were all impressed about how the bottom of the lineup had picked it up, and and they had made up this deficit without Kyle Tucker. Well, now I think you're seeing why Kyle Tucker really does matter. The lineup is much shorter. I think Yanir Diaz is doing a great job, but he shouldn't be your cleanup hitter, you know? So we're seeing that uh, Pena's fallen off a cliff. Myers has fallen off a cliff. Dubon, who is a utility player, we need to remember, we don't, we're not really supposed to expect a lot of him offensively, has also fallen off a cliff. So I usually look on the bright side of life. And I had a, a tweet last night where I said, you know, when it comes to baseball, you know, faith is for your soul. And I certainly have faith that the Astros can do this. We have seen them do it. Time and time and time and time again. Hope is for your heart. And I think the fact that I am ultimately devoted to this franchise, to the level that I have been for the most part of my life, yeah, I definitely have hope that they can pull this thing out. And I also, I think, have a very good, I'm pretty zen about the fact that even if this is a step back year, it doesn't have to be a step back for a long time and and the run when you're on an unprecedented run like the Ashes have been on which they're on an unprecedented run unprecedented runs sometimes have a hiccup or take a step back it's why they're unprecedented so uh 
obviously trying to stay very zen about that. But in my head, I look at none of these guys coming back from injuries. It looks like Garcia is now probably going to be shut down for the rest of the season. I don't see how he's able to join the team and um, have any meaningful impact if he's now back to no throwing, which I'm not a doctor and I don't, I don't know how far that really takes him back, but it seems like it's not good. So you have that to factor in, and you have that the, the Kyle Tucker thing where who knows if when he comes back he's even going to be right. You look at that, and you look at the fact that the Astros have, particularly for the way they're playing, a very tough schedule ahead. And Seattle, quite frankly, doesn't. I don't think the Astros can catch the wild card. I think you've got your five games back, and you have too many teams in front of you. And I'm be- – finally becoming very concerned about their ability to catch Seattle in the division. Now, of course, the Astros have proved everybody wrong before by playing up to their competition and beating Seattle two out of three last time they played and and beating the Dodgers two out of three. So who knows? Um, But the way it looks on paper, I, I just am going to enjoy the rest of the ride for 2024 and not be super hopeful that I'll get to buy playoff tickets for the first time as a season ticket holder. This is not, you know, me giving up. I don't believe in giving up. I, I, um, I know there's a lot of like debate over are you a real fan if you quit watching, and and I'm not going to judge anybody on that stuff. I, for one, feel like you have. For me, I would feel a little bit of a faker, or I would feel a little fake. If I checked out on the team now and then they won the World Series in 2025 and that's when I tuned back in and I would feel like, yeah, we've been there the whole time. I do think that you, at least for me, you earn a little bit when you're sticking there through the bad times. Um, We have renewed our season tickets for next year. I don't see, as long as we live in Texas, us not renewing them. So I'm saying this as someone who is going to be just as loyal to the guys no matter what happens, but... I, I think I'm finally joining the rest of Astros Nation with a logical viewpoint that I don't know that the Astros are going to win the division this year. And I really, really hope that this gets bookmarked and thrown in my – I'll do it myself. I'm not, I don't even need someone else to do it. So um, going to keep watching. We'll definitely watch uh, tonight. And, you know, we've got to think – Jessica and I are going to 10 more games this year, so we're excited about just being in the ballpark. I still contend that – Bad baseball is better than no baseball, and once baseball is over, it just sucks. And I am not an NFL guy enough to care. So, um, I mean, at least the Longhorns will be good, I guess. But, yeah, that's us. I mean, that's that's it for me for short hops. And like I said, we'll have the whole team back on Monday. But, you know, I, it's not over at all. No fat ladies have sung. You're still just a game and a half back. And I think that's the thing is that none of these teams are great. And so the hope you're hoping for is that the Astros can be that 2019 team or the 2021 team that beat Houston by getting into the playoffs, particularly 19, by the hair of their chinny-chin-chin and then going on a run. And that's, I think, the thing you have to bank on at this point. So um, until next time, it might be Monday, it might be tomorrow, go Strohs.